Today we'll be taking a look at a professional match of StarCraft 2 on the lovely map of Babylon. Joining me here in the upper left corner, the blue Zerg player, it is Serral. And the Protoss opponent, the challenger, perhaps victim in the bottom right corner, it is showtime. Serral versus showtime. Serral, of course, probably the uh, probably the favored in the matchup. I feel like Serral is favored in most matches he plays in. Like it, it's kind of the the Maru syndrome. <laughs> you you log in. To whatever tournament match it is and you see your opponent is Serral or Maru and you're just like oh yeah couldn't have rolled the dice a little bit better what, what, what do we call that a, a nat one roll there oh jeez. but nonetheless people have done it people have bested them and I think that if anybody can Showtime does make it on the list. The wall of Protoss. Can he withstand the fleshy bug tide of whatever Serral will probably cook up in a few minutes? It's a ZVP. Uh, you know how the first few minutes are going to go. We have the probe shenanigans in your office. The probe comes in, they pick up all the papers on your desk and they're just moving them around. So the drones trying to keep track of everything, trying to do their best to stay on task. So I will not be angered. I will not lose control of myself because of this probe. The probe says, well, fine. I'm just going to take this piece and be on my merry way. Even going to run over the Urubu on my way out because that's just how Protoss do. On the other side of the map, we have the Adept, the Nexus on the way, Stargate is the tech building of choice, to a surprise of hopefully no one, because as we all know, Stargate, just kind of the general catch-all, the solid way to go for you Protoss players. You get the Oracle out, get some nice vision, maybe a little bit of light harassment. If you want to go hunt overlords, you could head get Void Ray. Yeah. Get a Void Ray, hunt down those overlords, or maybe really confuse your opponent and build a Phoenix. Ooh. Phoenix a little more unusual, but still could happen. With the second Adept on the map, Showtime feeling confident to move across the map. There are Queens. There's not that many Queens, though. Just about to be number three. They're gonna shade up into the natural. Where are the Lings? There's only seven links, and link speed is not quite done yet. Showtime shades into the natural, immediately starts to target fire a couple of drones down. The queen stutter stuck, and they get it. Showtime loses both adepts. Yikes. To the tune of two drones, four zerglings. The choice to commit, I find intriguing. At behind this, though, Showtime has not been idle, wishing to take a third base, keeping the Oracle at home for now. Perhaps just waiting for multiple Oracles. How many will Showtime have? Two? Three? Sadly, we've seen even more. I've heard tell, I've heard rumors of the terrifying mass Oracle strategies. It looks like it's going to be three, at least. A couple more adepts were made, I would wager they're just sitting here. As the oracles make their way to the zerg side of the map, does Serral utilize these zerglings? No. Not at all. Very well. We'll just watch the oracles as they come into the natural, immediately snipe off four drones. Not nothing, but also not immense damage. More adepts? Showtime. What are you up to? More oracles, too. Moracles. 
No. It's just three oracles still. They were just gathering forces. The Adept Shade into the Natural again. Showtime is actually getting pretty solid damage now. A couple more Adepts over at the third base. Gonna target fire those down. The Oracles make their way into the main base quickly running away in a panic. The Adepts are cleaned up. 11 more drones go down. A total of 13 workers killed. Dare I say the worker count is relatively even? My goodness. Sarah looking a bit vulnerable, a bit mortal so far. Oracles, a couple more drones. Sarah just testing the waters on this third base with the presence of the sentries. This makes this a little tough to break, as they can cast a force field right when they come out. Serral undeterred by the level of damage taken so far, though Lair on the way, Roach Warren almost finished, and a fourth base has been planted. Showtime, though, what is your plan? It's looking like a sentry immortal play? Really? Okay, what year is it? We have the Warp Prism finishing up now. Ground Weapon's still a little bit away, though the Oracles are going to join up, which will help keep any Zerglings off of this. Stasis Ward down. Roaches, three. A few more on the way. The Queens are going to have to be pulled to the defense here. Force Fields go down. There are no Ravagers to break all of these. Only one Ravager, which means the replacement Force Fields are going to be very effective. Hatchery's getting a bit lower. What is this ragtag mercenary force here from Showtime? <laughs> what are these hero units? The stasis ward triggers on a few zerglings. Serral not quite able to get the surround, but looks like he may actually be able to force these Protoss units away before the hatchery dies. Nothing else going on on the map. This is the focus. Showtime wanted this base dead. Walking away with it only bruised and beaten. Quick, slap down the dark shrine. <laughs> Was it the plan? Was it a reaction? Was it a, a move of desperation? I'm, even I'm not sure. Oracles playing with fire quite low. How, how many kills between them? Three, two, where's the other one? Oh, we lost one. Showtime lost one. Oof. Rip. Oracle. Seeing those attack upgrades come up for Serral. Roach Speed, I believe, did finish. Yes. Very good. Prism. Charge Log Drop. Plus two on the way for Showtime. Who's looking to be a very real contender in this battle. Killing enough drones early on, Serral not quite at the spot he would like to be at, I'd wager. He's sitting at 91 drones now. Yes, he probably would have liked to be around there two minutes ago. <laughs> the double hallucinated phoenix, they'll never expect this. Do, do you also make double hallucinations, or do you hallucinate something other than a phoenix to try and scare your opponent? You haven't lived till you see the workers spread at a hallucinated oracle. Whereas I'm picking up a few of those zealots, not going to commit to a full warp in just yet. Serral on top of the defense. The DTs are for Archons? I'm surprised. Uh, yes, there is still a Dark Templar. Hmm. There's no Overseer here, but there are Banelings, which are usually also pretty good at killing Dark Templar, even if they don't see them. Serral is here. He is ready to attack the Roaches, the Banelings. But is he ready for the Charge Lots back home? Looks like it. <laughs> Sorry, Charge Lots. More Archons trying to be merged in. Bane speed finishes up. There's five Archons on the field. Oh, there's so many Banelings. 
13 probes, battery overcharge used, not going to be able to save very much though. A solid disruptor hit from Showtime. The Roach is taking a bit of damage. Can they contend with the now six Archons that are here? Oh, there's two over here. So they're not all here, here. He's making more though. I love it. Are we going for a, a heavy Archon strategy? What's going on up here? Oh, just a few Zealots. Stasis Ward activated by a few Zerglings. The Banelings gonna try and go for the workers. Not going to get it, but they are gonna get the Nexus. And with that, Serral retreats. <laughs> just load the Zealots into the prism. He's a plus two zealots. Plus three not started yet, actually. And we're getting the Templar Archives. Oh, another good disruptor shot. The Bane Link actually connecting mostly with Archons, which is less than ideal for the Zerg. Another disruptor hit goes out. Immortal desperately trying to deal with the Ling Bane, which means it's spinning its turret around quite frequently. So far, Showtime, he's holding. He's taking damage, yes. Little bits of damage, though. The Nexus fell, losing a few army units. The Stasis Ward's really helping out. Look at that. These Oracles have been alive since the start. Little bit of light harassment, zone control, scouting. They're just... They're too good. Sadly, the Oracle's just so good. It eliminates any other option. We see the Hive on the way for Serral. What do you think the Hive will be for? Place your bets. Ultras, Lurkers, Vipers, or Broodlords. Ooh. I'm kind of hoping for Ultras. Oh, Disruptors. Not connecting with a whole lot there. Actually gonna lose one. The Archon's trying to hold the line. That's a lot of Banelings rolling past them though. Trying to warp in to protect the probes that not going to be able to. 15 more probes go down. Even the Nexus losing all of its shields. Showtime desperately trying to hold on. He needs to stabilize long enough to actually get some economy back. The other bases have been relatively untouched. This is a nice wall. I like that. Gateways down, even the Stalker gets to be a part of it. I always wanted to be a wall. And now you get your dream, Stalker. Uh oh. Soaking up a few Baneling hits the creep on Showtime's doorstep. Luckily, Archons don't really care. Still no plus three on the way that, uh... It concerns me. Showtime is having to invest so much in just replacing the army units. Well, that was a good shot. Prism shenanigans dealt with. Did you lose the prism? No. Prism's still somewhere. Most of the focus has been here for a few minutes. Serral just trying to deal as much damage as possible. The prism's going towards the main base. Oh! And a hit squad from the Protoss may actually make it out onto the map, thus alerting Serral Swarm. <laughs> Overlord, generate creep. Showtime, maxed out. 124 army supply, ready to go, moving out onto the map. 10 Archons are here. If anybody can do it, it's 10 Archons. The splits trying to get it done, trying to save as many units as possible. It's just a lot of Banelings. 40 Banelings. That might be enough to actually kill one Ark. <laughs> and, and in case you haven't tried, uh, it takes a lot of Banelings to kill an Ark. Um, I forget what the actual number is, like 19 Banelings to kill one Ark. Um, it's quite messy. They're pretty good against Zealots, though. Run! Run, Zealots! Big battle on the right side over here. The Archons proving to be too strong for the defenders, though. Showtime making a bit of headway, making a bit of progress. Serral on the back foot. I think he's going to lose this hatchery at the very top. 
Some lings attempting a backstab. There's no cannon here. There are a few zealots, though. That hatchery does go down along with 17 drones. Replace it with 17 roaches. Heck yeah. Cyril, feeling angry, sends the lings across to try and get some damage done, perhaps before these Archons can fully merge in. One of them does get picked off, the Oracle's flying overhead, and now the main army has shown itself. You go for a surround, you go for that disruptor. <laughs> That's right. Tense game, tense moment. Both players have lost a base, both players having to replace workers, army units galore. Showtime getting back up to that nice, healthy 10 Archons. I like it. How many have we lost? 16 Archons have been lost. I know it's going in the thumbnail today. Vipers on the way for the Zerg player, who I believe finished plus 3 melee. Showtime at long last starts plus 3 attack as Saril makes another charge onto the left side here. Another Archon dissipates, but I still think it's enough Protoss to keep those forces at bay. Prism, feeling a bit aggressive. There's still just one, just one Prism. Showtime, since I only need one Prism. Putting Archons in that think to wait for me, I want it to go. You can't go. You can't fit in there. Oh. Or Archon. Queen's already <clears throat> at the ready for the defense, though Prism not likely to find too much. <laughs> Based on killing an Archon, Cyril probably knows what's in that Prism. Roach is stepping forward, taking out just a few units. They may actually be able to contend this. Abduct onto an Archon. Banelings trying to clean up the Zealots. Roach is moving on top of the Protoss forces that will be dealt with in time. Unfortunately, though, for the Zerg, the Protoss dealing with the attack on their side as well, and the Archon drop. Not actually getting much done. I hyped that up. Very well. Showtime. This feels a little bit of a, a desperate move. Just trying to snipe the hatch and get out. I'm gonna end up losing just as much to kill it, though. End up losing a bit more. Uh-oh. Showtime! I think that was a little bit of a boo-boo. Losing all of those Archons. 27 Archons have fallen. The drop is still just being annoying. It's not really getting a whole lot of damage done. No feedback onto one of the Vipers abduct on the Disruptor. Gonna cancel that attack. The Ravager Bile. Targeting the dead battery. Oh, there's a DT here. Is there any detection? No. A couple DTs, which means they will force the Zerg away, but not before the Zerg gets what they want, which was a dead Nexus. Prism Micro versus Drones. Uh-oh. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna get away. Even with the abduct. I don't think Showtime can replace enough army. Not quickly, at least. If Cyril were to lay down and wait for a few minutes, then perhaps <clears throat> Showtime could actually replace the army. But something tells me Cyril's not going to give him that opportunity. Although it looks like Showtime is actually moving out onto the map. Uh-oh. No! <laughs> Finally turn around. Showtime moving up to the top side of the map here. A few Archons with mostly Zealots. This is not enough, though. This is so not enough Protoss, right? No, they can't get this done. It's way too much Zerg. Recall onto a couple Archons, the Disruptor, they will actually get out. But look at this, the long distance mining. 
a desperate plea for economy. The roach is going to jump on the opportunity with their acidic saliva and their little legs to carry them as far as they can. More probes are dying, which means there's just not enough money to replace this. Showtime. Desperate act of war sends all of the forces over to the left side. There is no hope of cleaning up this Zerg force. Perhaps a base trade can be forced. Well, canceling that hatch. So, that's at least progress, right? I just don't think it's enough. Only three Archons, about to be four. Do you have Storm? No Storm. Oh. Without Storm, there's really not much hope here. The splash damage source is just the Archons, which means it's not going to be enough. Cyril is going to take the game. Despite the drone damage, very early on, able to set up that economy, get enough damage done through the mid-game, stand up to, uh, to Showtime's many, many Archons build, which gets an honorable mention for me, a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know in the comments below, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. So how many Archons did we end with? We had three alive and lost 32 over the course of the game. 35 Archons total in the match. Somebody do the math. That's a lot of gas. Whether it was DTs or... HTs, that's quite a bit of gas.